looking weather today. Let's see if it holds up with no rain anyways. And what's going on today? I thought this was already a thing in most places, but apparently there's going to be some laws in various areas saying don't fly around prisons. This one says drones will be banned from flying within 400 meters of prisons. New no-fly zones will be introduced around prisons in England and Wales to prevent drones being used to deliver drugs and contraband to inmates. The legal change will mean drone operators could face fines up to 2,500 pounds for flying within 400 meters of closed prisons or young offenders institutions. People caught smuggling items behind bars already face up to 10 years in prison. Which makes you think if there's already punishments and so forth for it, why do you need this? And at the same time, is a criminal actually going to abide by it in general? Again, I would have thought it was common sense for people not to fly around these areas anyways, huh? It says the new restrictions, which will take effect from January 25th, will mean authorities can swiftly identify suspicious drones and take action against suspected criminal activity, as well as enhancing security by preventing illegal filming behind prison walls. Prisons Minister Damien Hinz said this is the latest step in the war we are winning to stop drugs, weapons and phones getting into our prisons. These virtual no-fly zones along with our new airport style x-ray scanners mean we can clamp down better than ever on violence behind bars to keep both prisoners and staff safe from harm. I don't know again if a criminal would actually abide by this in general. But again, I'm just wondering, do people actually fly around prisons and so forth? I would think that'd be common sense. Don't even go near there, like a military site type of thing. Lots of news about war around the world still. How about this one between Ukraine and Russia, where apparently there was this drone video stalking a soldier. It says, Masterpiece video shows Ukrainian drone hunting Russian soldiers. Eventually, it dropped, I guess, like a bomb or something on them. But it just shows you how much, I guess, countries are openly trying to show off their tech and stuff, huh? Is that a way to try to, I guess, tell people, back off, we're high tech. A new video from the front lines of the war in Ukraine grimly demonstrates the terror soldiers face from the new technology and ever more ingenious methods of inflicting death on the modern battlefield. Posted on the Telegram account of the Ukrainian social activist and lawyer Serhii Sternenko, the clip shows a Ukrainian drone hunting a Russian soldier in a protracted pursuit. Footage from two drones has been spliced together, one from the hunter and another further away giving a panoramic view of the chase. The soldier, aware of the drone is chasing him, runs through the landscape, pockmarked with holes from artillery and other explosives weaving through trees in an attempt to lose his pursuer. Unfortunately, he wasn't successful, but again, they even implement multiple camera angles and all, again, it seems like these types of stuff is part of the war, huh? Is it kind of like one of those psychological warfares? Although in terms of something scary, this was crazy, where apparently this happened a while ago, but it says here, workers left dangling 500 feet in air after a high-rise scaffolding collapses. This thing looks terrifying as it is if you were on the ground. Imagine being stuck there like that. It says, this is the terrifying moment construction workers were left dangling helplessly from an office building after the scaffolding collapsed. They were left 500 feet in the air on the high-rise building development in Sao Paulo, Brazil earlier this week. Police dispatched a helicopter to the scene and 10 fire engines were also sent. Lydian Diaz, an eyewitness, said the trapped workers were rescued after a few minutes. The noise was very loud, a lot of things fell, the structure came down. We couldn't see where the debris fell because it was inside the construction site, she said. That's terrifying. Was it a human error or was there something wrong with the equipment that was used?
All right, see you guys later.